Hey guys, it's Jeff Farina with PocketNow.com. And so far you've seen us unbox the Dell Streak, give you a software overview video that shows you the custom interface that Dell has implemented, as well as give you an in-depth look at the hardware that makes up the device. Well now it's time to take a look at some of the applications including the browser and a few of these social networking applications that make this device what it is. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, now we're back. And we're gonna go ahead and jump into some tests and kind of show you how this device performs using certain applications. And first up is going to be the YouTube application, which we're gonna actually show you the video playback performance, as well as I kind of wanna give you an example of how that speaker sounds. So we're gonna go ahead and pull up the YouTube application here. And we'll search for Pocket Now, of course. And what we'll do is we'll just pick any random video. We'll select this one here in the very top. Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocket And I'm sure it's hard to hear, so I'm going to hold it up to my lapel mic. Microsoft may have stopped for the most part until Windows Phone 7 comes out, but that doesn't mean that the development of XD developers... And I hope you can tell, once again, I was holding it up to my lapel mic, so it was a little bit easier for you to hear. But it sounds... Brandon has a very distinct voice, and it sounds almost like he's swimming underwater. It sounds like the speaker's on the verge of blowing. And it's not turned up all the way either. When you turn it up all the way, obviously it gets worse as the gain increases. So that's something that Dell really, really, I mean, again, this could just be this device here, but if it's not, if it's if it's device wide, and I, I we, we've heard issues before with this particular device with the speaker, if it is Dell streak wide, that's something that Dell really dropped the ball on. Hopefully it's just this device, but hey, we'll see what happens. Now, going back to the playback here, as you can see, we'll go ahead and we'll actually fast forward a little bit here. As you can see, the frame rate actually is not bad at all. It's keeping up no problem, despite the fact that it's having to power that 5-inch screen. As you can see there, there's some pretty fast motion. It doesn't appear to have the HQ button down here in the right corner. However, it does play the video back without an issue at all with a decent frame rate. Another great element of the 5-inch screen on the Dell Streak is going to be in the email application. Typically with the Android devices, you have to actually pan and zoom in order to see your entire email. You have to pan left and right, that sort of thing. However, the five inch screen here really gives you some real estate to actually see the entire email for what it is without having to move left and right. As you can see here, we have an email from GameStop and it gives us all of the information without having to actually unzoom, move left and right in the email application. And that's really great. As you can see here, we can't go left and right. Unfortunately, we can't zoom. Now what we'll try and do is we'll actually hold it in the vertical position here. And it looks like we now have the ability, yes, to go left and right, like on typical Android devices. Still no ability to zoom, however. What this basically means is that if you are a power email user and a lot of your emails contain a lot of graphics, maybe some HTML code, pictures, or just a very large body of text and you wanna see the entire email without having to pan and zoom left and right, this is going to allow you to be very efficient because of that. Another application that has actually gained a lot of attention lately is the Facebook application for Android. And that is because it recently received an update. So go ahead and opening up this application here, you will see that Facebook and their developers need to actually rework how this is going to work on some devices because we do not have a landscape mode and we will actually hold the device up here, even shake it. It won't go into landscape mode at all. So we're stuck with the vertical, which looks identical to what you're going to get on any other Android device, just a little bigger. You have a little more space that you're really not going to utilize. You still have the ability to scroll through some recent pictures here, check your news feed, that sort of thing. So really getting to utilize the full aspect of this screen comes down to some of the developers of certain applications. And of course, we wanna go ahead and take a look at the browser. Now, right now we're connected to a Wi-Fi network, so we have pretty solid connection. We're gonna go ahead and open up the browser here. It'll bring us to our homepage, that is Google. And then from there, we're going to go to Pocket Now. As you can see here, right to the wildfire review that we recently did. And it loads fairly quickly, but it also loads the page as a whole, as you can see here. You do want to zoom out just a little bit, and that's likely because the last time we were browsing, we actually had zoomed in on a picture. But you can see the entire web page very, very clearly. You can read the text without an issue at all. So if you were actually holding this phone in front of you right now, you can clearly read this paragraph without having to zoom in at all. You can just zoom totally zoomed out, say totally zoomed out, and see all of your text without an issue. 
That makes the browsing experience much easier. You do have the multi-touch support, as always, to zoom right in. However, the text takes a little bit to render when you actually zoom in and out. It actually has to render the text changing in the size, so you get a little bit of a blur until that actually fully renders. You can also use the browser, of course, in the vertical mode, which will then require you to pan zoom the whole nine yards. But once again, as you can see here, you can fit the entire website in a decent aspect ratio. And now it's time for a gaming test. We have Raging Thunder loaded on both devices here, which are the HTC Evo 4G and of course the Dell Streak. So we're actually gonna go ahead and start a race on both these devices at the same exact time. And we'll see which one performs better in terms of frame rate, whatever it may be, or if they perform the same. Right off the bat, you can actually see that the menu here is much easier to read because it is actually much more clear and much wider due to the resolution of the device. One side note, we typically test with asphalt. However, the asphalt racing is only compatible with Android 2.0 and up. And of course, the Dell Streak only has 1.6, so we had to use Raging Thunder. Now, these are both running at the same exact time. I'm going to zoom in here just a little quickly so you can actually see. It almost looks as though the colors are a little clearer on the Dell Streak As far as the detail goes, it also looks like the detail on the streak may be a little bit clearer on the car itself. You can see some of the fender accents a little bit clearer, but that may be because of the fact that it's a bigger screen, they have a little bit more to work with. As far as frame rate goes, however, it is a close, close competition here. This game likely doesn't go past 30 frames per second, so you're really not gonna see a difference between these two devices. Overall, the experience on the streak may be a little bit better for gaming. That's because the screen's bigger. It's very close to the DSi XL. So this is actually more of a portable gaming system for you by having a bigger screen. However, you can't go wrong with either of the two options here. And there you have it. Thank you for watching everyone. Please give us a thumbs up and leave a comment if you have any suggestions or questions. Stay tuned for the next and final video in the series, which will be our final word and our full review on the Dell Streak. There will also be a long posting on pocketnow.com, so be sure to check there for the full review.